What is going on, lovely people? This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We continue our playlist called Ever Wonder Why? Here is a fact in medicine. Lambert Eaton Myasthenic Syndrome has autonomic symptoms, such as orthostatic hypotension, constipation, impaired sweating, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. But these autonomic symptoms, for some reason, do not happen in myasthenia gravis. Have you ever wondered why? I thought that this was just the way it is. Shut up. Let's try this case. Please read it, pause, and tell me what's the most likely diagnosis. Now pause. So we have a 35-year-old male coming in complaining of dyspnea, difficulty ambulating, tingling and numbness, and blurry vision. He also says, Doc, I cannot chew a cracker. I feel my mouth is so dry. Sexual history is relevant for erectile dysfunction. He mentions that he's always constipated, in spite of the fact that his diet is rich in fiber. Seven years ago, he worked part-time in a coal mine for just two weeks. When asked about the symptom that bothers him the most, he said difficulty breathing. Physical exam is significant for a warm, flushed face with no sweating. Decreased strength of the arms and thighs bilaterally. The table tilt test is positive. You order PFTs and these are the results. So as we see, he has difficulty breathing and he has proximal muscle weakness. What is the table tell test? This is for orthostatic hypotension. So he has orthostasis. So I have orthostasis, I have dyspnea, I have constipation, dry mouth, no sweating. And these pulmonary functions reveal what? They reveal a restrictive lung disease. Is it a problem in the lung or outside the lung? Look at the DLCO. The DLCO is normal, which means the lung itself is normal. The problem is outside the lung, such as the diaphragm, the intercostal muscles, the brainstem, etc. So, when I have muscle weakness, autonomic symptoms, and an extrinsic restrictive lung disease, what comes to mind? This is Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome. How about myasthenia gravis? Shut up. Myasthenia does not have autonomic symptoms. Why is this medicosis? Well, it depends on the pathophysiology. In Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome, you are damaging what? You're damaging those calcium channels, voltage-gated calcium channels. Damaged by what? By autoantibodies. That's an autoimmune disease. How about myasthenia? Also an autoimmune disease destroying my N sub M nicotinic receptor on the skeletal muscles. And in this beautiful comparison table, you see that autonomic symptoms are present in Lambert Eaton, but they are absent in myasthenia. Now, let me tell you why. Do you remember this glorious picture? If you want to supply a skeletal muscle, you will need what? Upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. The lower motor neuron is always cholinergic, which means it secretes acetylcholine. That's why it's cholinergic. And the receptor is nicotinic sub M on that skeletal muscle. What if I want to talk to some other muscle like cardiac muscle, smooth muscle? Well, you need autonomic nervous system. It could be parasympathetic or sympathetic. If it's parasympathetic, you have cholinergic fiber and another cholinergic fiber. This is nicotinic sub N and these are muscarinic receptors. If you are sympathetic, here you are cholinergic fiber, which means acetylcholine on nicotinic sub N. On the periphery, sympathetic, you have adrenergic fibers releasing noradrenaline or norepinephrine onto alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. So acetylcholine is a hero. If this is a cholinergic fiber that releases acetylcholine, you have many different options. You can have this fiber in a ganglion. And as you know, the ganglion can talk to sympathetic or parasympathetic post-ganglionic fiber. The same cholinergic fiber can talk to a skeletal muscle via nicotinic sub M receptor. The same stinking cholinergic fiber can talk to smooth muscles via muscarinic receptors. Now, suppose that I have Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome. What's the problem? Your voltage-gated calcium channels are gone, and that's a presynaptic channel. Okay, if the calcium doesn't enter, acetylcholine vesicle is not going to rupture, and acetylcholine is not going to be released. Now you can forget all your ganglia, sympathetic and parasympathetic. You can forget your skeletal muscles and you can even forget your smooth muscles. That's why Lambert Eaton can have autonomic symptoms. However, what's the problem in myasthenia? The problem in myasthenia is only in the nicotinic sub M receptors. And this only affects skeletal muscles. Your smooth muscles are fine in myasthenia. Your sympathetic parasympathetic systems are fine if you have myasthenia. But if you have Lambert Eaton, because calcium is the hero, 
everything is toast. And this is why Lambert Eaton has autonomic symptoms but myasthenia does not, something that your woke professor will never tell you. I love messing up with professors. Both diseases are autoimmune. Lambert Eaton is paraneoplastic, it's associated with small cell lung cancer. Myasthenia is not a paraneoplastic syndrome, it's not associated with cancer, however, it's associated with thymoma. And you should remove the thymus gland if you want to treat the myasthenia well. Lambert Eaton is autoantibodies against the presynaptic calcium channels, but myasthenia autoantibodies against the postsynaptic acetylcholine receptors, which are the nicotinic sub M. Lambert Eaton, muscle weakness that improves with use, but myasthenia is muscle weakness that worsens with use. What kind of muscles in Lambert Eaton is the proximal limb muscles and the back muscles? Rarely do you see extraocular muscle involved. In myasthenia, distal muscles, extraocular muscles, respiratory muscles. Let's review myasthenia gravis from Picmonic. Myasthenia, mice, gravis, grave. What's the problem? You have antibody, you see those ant bodies, attacking your acetylcholine receptor, acetyl cola, leading to ptosis, drooping of my eyelid. Here is your toast. Because extraocular muscles are weak, you get diplopia or double vision. Muscle weakness that gets worse the more you use them. Respiratory failure is a cause of death and it's associated with thymoma. So if you want to manage it, treat the thymoma by thymectomy. Give acetylcholine trace inhibitors to boost the acetylcholine and plasmapheresis to remove those antibodies. Now it's time to review Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome. Lambert Eaton, here is a lamb eating. What's the problem? Autoantibodies and tie body against what? The presynaptic calcium channels. Here's the cow for calcium. And this will lead to decreased release of acetylcholine, the C. galcola. Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome is a paraneoplastic syndrome. Here is a parachute and a neoplastic cell. And the cancer is usually small cell lung cancer also known as oat cell carcinoma. Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome has proximal muscle weakness. As you see here, the proximal muscles are suffering. But this muscle weakness improves with use. The more you use them, the better it gets. Because you're giving more action potential, therefore you're trying to pump more calcium and you're trying to override those nasty autoantibodies. Autonomic symptoms are very common. However, the extraocular muscles are spared in Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome. Most of the time, not all the time. If you like this video, you will love my autonomic pharmacology course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. Learn about the anticholinergics, the beta blockers, alpha blockers, etc. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Go to Picmonic for animated medical mnemonics. Thanks for watching. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.